So the other day I made a video on using ChatGPT for your PhD and I got a lot of great feedback on that. And one piece of feedback that I did get is what prompted this video. So in that video I had mentioned that you could use ChatGPT to find some of the highly cited papers, some of the most popular papers on a particular topic, and then you could retrieve those references and use them to build your own library of resources, right? And then Caleb dropped this very insightful comment. Caleb's comment said, for me, chat GPT has not given an accurate list of papers. The citations it gives are made up. The citations it gives are made up. There might be papers with the names it says. It might use really real journals or real authors, but the combination it provides does not exist. And I want to thank you, Caleb, for bringing this up because that same day, somebody in a Facebook group I was a part of, and this was not to do anything to do with my video had also brought this up. So I went in and tested this for myself and I typed in a prompt for chat GPT to give me the most cited papers on CAR T cell therapy. So that was the prompt I gave it. And here is what I found out. I actually ended up making a, a little spreadsheet of this out of the 10 citations that chat GPT gave me. There was only one that was absolutely accurate. Okay. Two of them did not actually exist. And for the rest of them, yes, Caleb was right. The combinations were all mixed up. So sometimes they got the, the author wrong, um, but it would give you the right journal or the right year. Sometimes it would get nothing correct, but the title of the paper. Sometimes it would not even mention um, an author. So there were all these combinations. So absolutely, Caleb, thank you for bringing this up. And this makes the point that I was trying to make towards the end of that video when I said that I really do think that ChatGPT is a great assistant, but it's always so important for you to go back and check things. Even if you use ChatGPT to write something, to for it to create an outline for you or even a piece for you. You want to make sure that you're not plagiarizing anybody's work. You want to make sure that the facts are accurate. And mind you, some of these papers had definitely been cited multiple times, sometimes in the thousands of times, right? So these are pretty popular papers, but the AI still got things wrong. And I know that for the GPT version or the chat GPT version I was using, we've been told that it's been fed information up to 20 2021. Some of these papers were published way before that. So again, you don't want to rely a hundred percent on this tool. It's a great tool. It can help us. I think it can still accelerate a lot of the mundane tasks that we do, but please do your due diligence. Go back, check on your work, make sure it's giving you accurate information before you use these tools, because it would be a real shame for you to generate things with these wonderful tools really um, but then you didn't do your due diligence and I know we're smarter than that. So let's do that.